welcome. I'm just about to record for you our beginner's solo paso doble practice routine number four. This was taught online live in a Zoom class on the 14th of July 22. So if you are in my video library or one of my solo Bora Latin plans and you want to look for the full 60 minute class, you need to look for the 14th of July in the paso doble beginner's playlist. So I'm going to turn around and make a little start. I'm actually going to face the corner so you can see more clearly. Uh, this is just a walkthrough, so I'm not going to put all the full styling in just yet. So we started basically marching on the spot. So that's our little surplus move. Okay, so we're marching on the spot. And in the class, I actually had a track on where we were dancing to the phrases and the verse and the chorus and everything that you can hear in, in the tracks so and the different sort of changes. Okay, but I'm going to give you counts today of eights or sixteens as, as to where we were. So I did this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we started posturing. So we went and bent our knees, palms up, we pulled back, hips went forwards, threw the hands down, up to the ceiling, arms up, and then we did the same thing. Down, throw, arms going up. We then had a little adjustment of our body position, and we kept marching, and that was just to wait until the next part of the music came in. So there was probably about another eight counts there, okay? Then I went with Anna Pearl, where she's our little stamping step. On my right foot, I went off to the corner on my left foot. Walk, walk, walk. Stamp, back, back, back. And I did a chassis and a chassis. And the second chassis, I didn't put any weight on that step. I then used that as an appel here to walk onto the other corner. And I appel and then I came back. Okay, so two sets. Okay, one each side, one each corner. Okay, now let's finish that with a little chassis to the side. Side, close, side, drag. Okay, I then came balls of the feet right up and bringing myself up again, posturing. Okay, the next bit was the Spanish taps or the flamenco taps. So I stepped through and tap and back and tap. So I went in with the arms, pulled back, went in and pulled back. Now I did that six times in the routine. Like I said, the number of times was to fit with the piece of music. So you don't have to do this as many times uh, as we did. It was just that that particular piece of music, that felt right. So we did six of those, and then we did those sort of slow boat fogo crosses. So we went across, out replace, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Now I did those 10. Ten of them, but that was for that piece of music. So we did ten, okay? I then did a little Spanish line. I say little, I did a very big one. Okay, so it's like this, that sort of lunge position. Okay, palms going through, bring in towards your collarbone, rotate underneath, and then up to the ceiling. Then we drag the foot in, and then I brought the hands down. I then go for a little corner check. Sorry, I didn't bring the hands down, I left them up. And then we went corner check and we brought the hands down. Right foot corner check, left foot corner check, and right foot again. I did four of these, there's my fourth one. Okay? Now, I'm then going to close my feet together, down. I have a little kick up of the right foot. I put it down across. And I pivoted around and transferred the weight to the back foot, which is my right foot. Very little weight on the front foot. And then we did this at the end, which was our little victory stance. Okay, now there's a lot going on. So let's go through that all again. Let's try and piece it together a little bit more fluently. <laughs> okay, or fluidly, I should say. Now, let me start with marching on the spot. So here I am, marching, bringing the arms up and bring the arms down to suit. You can do that as many times as you want. I go down, hips forwards, we through, came up, 
and down, through and up. Okay? We then did our appell. Stamp, walk, walk, walk. Stamp, walk, walk, walk. Side chassis, side chassis, don't put the weight on it. Stamp. I need to move over, sorry. Stamp, walk forwards. Stamp, walk back. Side chassis on this side. Then we were marking time, bringing ourselves up nice and big. Here we are. And then the Spanish tacks, in and back. And in, I actually shifted my position in my space just a little bit. There we go, Spanish tap. Both of them are crosses. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And we did 10 of them, but I don't need to do all 10 just for you guys now. So uh, keep going with those as, as you want. And then the little Spanish line. Hands through, hands tuck in, up. Draw in the foot, check, 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 last one, together, up, cross, pivot, here, and extend. There we go guys, lots of drama there with the arms and everything. A little bit more free flow with the count on this one. Because you're doing a lot of marching, you can mark time. You can do that as many times as you want. You can do those steps fast and slow. So you can take two counts for one of those steps, or you can do them in quick time and do one count. Entirely up to you. So if you're looking online, find some nice pastel music. There's plenty on all the online platforms. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. That was our beginner's Paso Doble practice routine number four. And I will see you again at some point in another video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.